to my channel or if you are new here for the first time then hello welcome in today's video i am filming a spring decorate with me of our primary bedroom i'm super excited to share with you the small subtle changes that i made for the spring season i added in a little bit of color and i also added in a few different options to get your opinion on which one you liked best i ended up sticking with my neutral colors which if you've watched me for a while you know i am a neutral girl at heart but i did want to at least show you guys how i would incorporate color if that is something that you like if you are not already please make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me over on instagram the link is always in the description box below I will also try to link as much as I can showing in today's video in the description. If you don't see something that you would like the link to, make sure to comment down below. Sometimes I just forget to link something. And let's go ahead and get to decorating. Jumping right into the decorate with me, I'm going to start by making my bed taking my favorite end of the bed throw blanket from Casa Luna at Target. I believe today is the last day to take advantage of the sale that Target is having for Target Circle Week. If this video goes live on Saturday and you are watching it on that day, make sure to check out your local Targets or check the link in the description box down below because all bedding from Target is 30% off. And then going to layer in my Euro pillows that I got from Home Goods a couple years ago. These brown pillows I get so many questions on. I actually got them from Target a very long time ago, so sadly I cannot link these either. And then I'm going to add in some colorful pillows that I found at Lowe's on sale. I believe they were around six or seven dollars. I ended up taking them away because I wanted to go back to a more neutral color scheme, but this is a simple way to add in color if you do want to do that in your bedroom. Moving over to my husband's nightstand, I'm just going to give this a good wipe down and also take a lint roller to the lampshade gets all the dust, dirt, and hair off of it. A huge tip if you have never tried it and you have animals in your home. I'm going to show you three different ways you can style a nightstand here. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. I wanted to incorporate more blue into our room to kind of tie in the pillows that I added in, but ultimately I stuck with a more neutral palette and stayed with this last option. I got this base from Walmart. If you missed my last video, I included it there, but I will have it linked for you in the description below. Moving over to my nightstand, I'm going to give it a good wipe down and lint roll the lampshade just like I did on my husband's side. Then I'm going to play around with a few different things to style on the side of my nightstand. I would love to know in the comments below which one you prefer. I'm really sad that I couldn't get this beautiful Walmart arrangement to work anywhere in my home. My mom actually tried to get it to work in her home as well, and I think it's just way too bright. It's very pretty, but it's very hard to style with. So if you have picked this up from Walmart, make sure to let me know how you style it in the comments below. I really love the simplicity of this single greenery stem that I put in this black jug. It is totally up my alley of the modern minimal style. 
here I am switching out my colorful pillows for a more neutral lumbar pillow. This is from Laloy and I believe it is still available so make sure to check the description box. Then headed over to our little reading nook area where we have a comfortable chair and this little side table with a vase. I'm just going to add these beautiful Cosmo stems from Hobby Lobby to give a simple spring touch. dresser I'm keeping it very simple not changing out much here I'm just adding in a new vase that I got from Lowe's taking some greenery stems that I picked up from Target years ago that you all love and sadly I cannot link and that is going to complete this styling on our dresser I also wanted to include how we changed out our rug under our bed. We ordered these furniture lifters or whatever you call them on Amazon and unfortunately they really didn't work. They ended up breaking so we ended up returning them so I do not recommend these whatsoever but you can kind of see the process that we took to get our original rug out and how we are going to put our new rug underneath. So if you have any tips on a better way to replace rugs under furniture, definitely let me know below. I've had a lot of people on Instagram post about these and that's why I bought them. But again, I would not recommend them. We ended up having to have our neighbor come over and hold up the bed with my husband so I could pull the rug through since these levers or furniture lifters, whatever you call them, broke on us we had to call in one of our neighbors thankfully who was able to come and help us this rug is from the new collection with Laloy and it is so stunning it is a neutral girl's dream has beiges creams and grays in it I will have it linked down below for you guys if you are interested. I will also leave the exact size that I got. I believe this is a 9 by 11 if I'm not mistaken, which is a good size for a king bed. So that is going to complete this spring decorate with me. I hope that you enjoyed coming along, adding some subtle spring touches in our bedroom. Make sure to let me know what you liked in the comments down below. Thank you so much for being here as always. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.